You know a question I keep getting seriously over and over and over in all of my eyes in my pocket three videos if y'all don't believe me you can go on all my videos and read through the comments and see it for yourself. The question is, should I buy the Osmo Pocket 3, okay? Um, and that's what I wanna talk about in this video. So, because I'm going to pick my kids up right now, this is going to be pretty much a car vlog video. I uh, hope you don't mind. Uh, so you know the technicalities of filming while you're out and about trying to handle picking up kids and all that stuff, so the video probably won't be technically perfect. But uh, I wanna approach this video from not a review perspective because I've already made a ton of review style videos on my channel about the Osmo Pocket 3, but from a practicality perspective. And some of you might say, oh, we don't need to know this information. Well, look at all the comments of people asking very, very similar things. As a matter of fact, I'll pull up a recent one uh, that I was just looking at on my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm at a stoplight right now. The guy says, thinking about getting this camera to shoot automotive B-roll, like rollers, and bring it with me to car meets. Would you recommend getting it or getting a gimbal from my Sony A6400? Mainly just want something fast and easy. That's from Colin underscore Nicholas. So shout out to Colin. Uh, about 40 minutes ago. So there's still people asking this question, should I buy the Osmo Pocket 3? Uh, I did not script this video, by the way. This is completely off the top of the head. But I want to talk about this in two different ways, right? First of all, should you buy the Osmo Pocket 3 as your primary camera, your only camera? Second of all, should you buy the Osmo Pocket 3 as a secondary or a third camera or something like that? So let's talk about the first question. Should you buy the Osmo Pocket 3 as your only freaking camera? And I think it's important to define what the Osmo Pocket 3 is because it is a purpose-built camera. It is not a all-around general purpose camera. And I'm saying that because a lot of newbies who are you know, new into the camera space may not know this. The Osmo Pocket is created to be a really easy to use vlog camera with a ton of smart features built into it with the gimbal on top to give you stable footage at all time that can track you, uh, do like built-in time lapses and you know, the list goes on and on and on. So for what it is, in my opinion, it's one of the best cameras out that you can get. It gives you better image quality than a freaking phone would and almost as good, but not as good as like a small APS-C camera, okay? So the image quality is nestled between those two and it is it's really a one trick pony and I'm not saying that in a bad way, meaning you, there's not much you can expand with the Osmo Pocket 3 and I'm gonna get into this a little bit more. So I'm gonna use two words throughout this video a whole lot and that's gonna be trajectory number one, number two, and 10, okay? If this is going to be a primary camera for you, you have to consider those two things. I'm gonna assume that you may only have a budget of six to 700 bucks and you're thinking about this as my go-to camera, I buy my first camera, I need to know should I buy it or not. You need to ask yourself a few questions. Number one, and this is a big one, do I care about photography, okay? If your answer is yes, then you might as well just turn this video off, the Osmo Pocket is not the camera you should buy. It's not built for it, it could take photos, but to be honest, the freaking camera in your pocket, meaning your phone can do a way better job than the Osmo Pocket can. Trust me, it'll take a photo, but that's about it. You ain't getting a lot when it comes to photos out the Osmo Pocket 3. It's not built for that, so if photography might be important and I say might be because I'm gonna tie that back to our word trajectory. If this is gonna be your only camera, you need to also thinking about what am I gonna be interested in in six months? What if I'm interested in photography in six months? Then essentially, if I buy the Osmo Pocket 3 now, then I got a paperweight, not a paperweight, but you get what I'm trying to say, it's not going to fulfill that purpose of being a photography camera. So the second thing that you need to ask yourself is what am I going to use this camera for? Again, the Osmo Pocket 3 is really, in my opinion, meant to be a social media camera and a camera that you can use to, you know, film yourself and also to capture memories and stuff like that. That It's gonna do a better job than your phone can, but it, it doesn't give you like the hassle of carrying around a freaking bulky camera. So that's what it's for. But let me tell you what it's not for. It's not meant for people who are getting into like indie filmmaking. You wanna take video seriously. It's not pe for people who might wanna go on a film set or something like that. And the reason I'm saying that that's important is because you can't expand what the Osmo Pocket 3 offers. Terry, what are you talking about? Okay, a lot of people who get into film are going to wanna 
try out different focal lengths, right? So I'm gonna, I might wanna try out, I'm stuttering, sorry. I might wanna try out a lens that gives me a more blurry background, right? It gives me like a more quote unquote cinematic look. Well, I can't do that on the Osmo Pocket because I'm stuck with one focal length and one aperture. I cannot change that. So if I'm going to get into that in six months, then no, the Osmo Pocket 3 is not the best camera for me because I can't do anything more than what it offers by itself. Whereas with an interchangeable lens camera, oh, I could change that baby up. I can switch the lenses out, I can rig it out, I can put different microphones, monitors, all of that stuff on it. And frankly, the Osmo Pocket 3 is just not going to give you any of that. So again, this whole question of intent and trajectory is important because if, if, if this is going to, going to be your only camera, these are things that you need to think about if you only have a budget of a you know six to seven hundred bucks or around there. Now, if you want to buy this now for the purpose that is built for, and you know in a few months that hey, I'm gonna have more money to potentially buy a different camera that could give me more, then okay. But if you are budget constrained, or if you simply just don't wanna buy another camera, then these are things that you need to think about. Personally, if I only had 700 bucks and I was thinking about what camera I should buy, unless I specifically know, specifically, that I will not need anything more within the next year or so than what the Osmo Pocket 3 can offer, then aside from that, I probably would advise you not to buy it. And I would advise you not to buy it because you are going to, in my opinion, quickly outgrow what the Osmo Pocket 3 can do. And I'm not saying that the Osmo Pocket 3 is a bad camera. I, in fact, think it's the best camera 2023 going into 2024. Um, I, I didn't say most capable. I said the best camera has the most innovation. It's the funnest to use and all that other good stuff. And trust me, I've tested out cameras all the way up to like the Sony Alpha 9 III, which is a $6,000 freaking camera. But I think as a only camera, I probably would not recommend you buy it because you're going to quickly outgrow it, although it is a really, really fantastic camera. So uh, the second half of this question would be, should I buy this as a second camera? Should I buy like a gimbal instead? And I would say as a secondary camera, this is where the Osmo Pocket really starts to gain its value. I mean, it's already valuable, but it's gonna really gain its value as a secondary camera because it gets relieved of all of those things we talked about. As a secondary camera, that means I already have a camera that can do photography. As a secondary camera, that means I already have a camera that, if necessary, can probably give me way better image quality in you know, dynamic range and stuff than the Osmo Pocket 3 can offer. If I already have another camera, that means if I need to, I got a camera that I can swap the lenses and rig it out and put audio solutions and monitors and all that stuff on there. So once you already have a camera, then you can strictly just let the Osmo Pocket live where it's supposed to live at. And that is as a small, easily deployable, fantastic camera with loads of image quality and autofocus tracking and a gimbal built into it. So you always have smooth footage. It's great for like live streaming, webcam usage. It's great for social media content. You can make time lapses and hyper lapses. It films in vertical and video. So as like a social media camera, secondary camera, oh, it's fantastic. My only caveat would be as long as you're okay with the image quality because it is only a one inch sensor. So you do have to be mindful that even if you get like a cheap Sony a6000 or 6100, those are still going to give you better looking video because they're just bigger sensors, okay? But also to add to that, it's gonna be a compliment to the phone in your pocket. The phone in your pocket, a lot of us are running like iPhone 13, 14, 15 Pros. Yo, those are great tools and they have a lot of different lenses and stuff built into it, but they don't give you things like tracking and stabilization and all that stuff built into it. So as a second or third camera to your main camera and to your phone, then yes, it's a, a fantastic solution. Now, should you buy the Osmo Pocket 3 or should you buy a gimbal? That's the last thing I wanna address because my daughter's about to get in the car. Again, two words, trajectory, okay, and intent. A gimbal is a tool, okay? And there's certain situations where Osmo Pocket 3 might be okay, right? For rolling shots for social media, fine. This is Editor Terry real quick and I look a mess, but just to talk about this roller shot thing real quick, could the Osmo Pocket work? I'm sure it could, but there's two caveats that I 
think about automatically. First of all, could the Osmo Pocket withstand wind, stuff like that from possibly hanging out of a window upside down? That part, I don't know. It's a very, very tiny gimbal. The other thing you got to think about is remember, you're only getting one focal length with the Osmo Pocket, which depending on the style of roller shots you want to do, may or may not be a big deal, but you're only going to get wide angle roller shots at F2. You can't get you know, more depth of field or anything like that. So definitely something to think about. Is it possible? I'm sure you can make it work. But if you're going to be doing these dedicated, you know, all the time, a gimbal might be a better choice. But if I'm maybe doing client work, filming real estate videos, you know, videos for hair salons, barber shops, or I just want to take filmmaking more seriously, a gimbal is a fantastic tool for a larger camera. And if that's what you need, an image quality, dynamic range, rigging it out, all that stuff is important to you, then I would say maybe buy a gimbal, right? But again, what is the Osmo Pocket made for? It's hyper smooth social content. If that's all you need it for, and you don't need to rig it out, and you're fine with the image quality, you have no want or need to swap focal lengths or anything like that, you just want a small deployable camera that could give you fantastic smooth, high quality footage, then yeah, go ahead and buy one. It's a fantastic tool for that job. All in all, what I'm trying to say to you is the Osmo Pocket 3 is a fantastic little camera, but it is specifically purpose built. And I would only recommend that you buy it if you understand the purpose of it and you are not going to outgrow it very, very quickly, right? For me, it's a perfect solution. I don't mind the image quality coming out of the Osmo Pocket 3. Is it as good as like my bigger cameras? Absolutely not. Can my phone rival the image quality out of the Osmo Pocket 3? It could get close in some situations, but the benefits of the Osmo Pocket 3 are just so good to me. It's so small, it's so lightweight, it's just easy to deploy. I don't have to balance a gimbal. I don't have to worry about in low light, is my stabilization gonna fall apart? I get vertical footage, landscape footage, it tracks me, it gives me all the smart features I need. I can use it as a webcam easily. And the list goes on and on and on. So for me, it's a perfect backup camera, secondary camera, although I have like 40 cameras. Uh, for me, this is the camera that unless I know I need to, you know, go create some sauce, I'm bringing the Osmo Pocket 3. And that might be your use case. You might just want it as a perfect pocket run and gun camera. You, you just pull really, really close to me, lady. Relax. But in that capacity, it's a fantastic little camera. And as long as you understand the limitations of it, I think it'll be a fantastic tool for your bag. So I would have loved to make this video more in depth, but you know, I'm a full-time dad and all that stuff, and I just don't have the time today, but I wanted to make this video. So I hope it was helpful, informative. I hope it helped you make a decision. And uh, y'all can let me know in the comments what you think. I'm, I'm losing my voice right now. This is crazy. I ain't even been talking a whole lot today. What's going on? Uh, real quick, I did grade this with one of my LUTs from Terry's LUT package, okay? If you have no clue how to freaking color grade or you want to use your Osmo Pocket 3 and D-Log, well, Terry went ahead and created nine custom LUTs for you, right? All you gotta do is slap them on top of your D-Log in footage. They handle the Rec. 709 conversion from D-Log and they color grade it for you. So all you gotta do is slap it on there and get the sauce, man. That's all you gotta do. Hey, link is down there in the description. So till next time, I'm out of here. Much love, piece of chicken grease, I'm out. Tyson Terry Warfield, peace. I think I'm playing chess, I see a king, I'm at his neck. I'm three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check, yes. They wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept. All my nightmares of me at 40, life's a wreck. See my dad, he in debt, and my mom, she upset. That's way back when 408 on Seminole.